what's up y'all welcome back to the life of t as y'all already know i am t and then if you didn't know that then it means you are new here and i thank you for joining me i always love you guys support whether you're returning new here all the above on today's video we are i wanted to do like a little pep talk type of video um so today's video will basically be about being an entrepreneur a business owner and not having family and friends to support you because it happens every day b um so i just wanted to give words of encouragement and my thoughts on the situation i've done a real instagram reel on it before and a tiktok but i thought i would do a video to do a little bit more in depth on it so let's get started <music> Okay, y'all, let's pray that my camera don't die. Anyway, um, so as a blogger, technically I'm an entrepreneur, I guess you could say a blogger, a blogger, photographer, all of that, um, but I still work a nine to five, so I'm not completely there. But um, I definitely know how it feels to not have all of the support. Initially, you know, it can be like shocking, it can be hurtful, you might be feeling like, but why are you not supporting me though? Um, I've had this conversation with both of my best friends and um, specifically my best friend Jessica. We were talking about how when we grew up and now you can be on Facebook and somebody that was popular would get 100, 200, 300, 400 likes on like the craziest things. But when you have a passion and you want someone to support it, it be crickets. You get maybe 10 likes or whatever. And it's just like... This is something that I'm passionate about and y'all can't even like it. You can't even comment. You see it. You on there. So why aren't you, you know, showing support? Like I said, yeah, it can be hurtful. It can, you know, how you feel in some type of way because I've definitely been there. Um, but here are some reasons that may, you know, maybe why they're not supporting you. Okay, so they may not be supporting you because they don't understand it. They don't even understand the business. I just feel like in the beginning when I first started blogging that I was over explaining myself 24 seven about what blogging was. What are you blogging about? How does it work? Are you typing? Are you writing out stuff? Um, and people didn't understand like the social media blogging aspect of it. Like some of my older family members or whatever, or you know, just older people I talk to in general, my friends understood it. Um, but yeah, I found myself like over explaining um, what it actually was. So if you're a business owner or entrepreneur, people may not understand that that is your job. That is what you do. They don't, they may be like, oh, why aren't you working a real job? Um, and I feel like sometimes when people don't understand something, they can get behind it, which I get it. But that's why, you know, you keep pushing whatever it is out there, your content, your business, keep promoting it and all of that. And, you know the right people will come along. It could be that they are jealous. Sometimes I've noticed when people want to do things and they can't or they don't have the motivation or whatever have you, the resources and all that, they will hate on people that are doing the same thing or something that they want to do. And that to me is very strange. Like, if you want to do something, do it. But don't hate on the next person. Uh, we all have the same 24 hours is what I like to say. So if you, it's enough room out here for everybody. It's, it's enough space, money, opportunity for you to do hair if you want to do hair. If you want to sell clothes, like, je there's no reason for jealousy when there are billions of people in this world that can purchase what you have or use your service or, you know, come into your business or whatever. So that to me, I would never understand it. And you don't get nowhere with jealousy. You get absolutely nowhere. God don't want nobody to have no jealous heart. He don't want that. And yeah, so that could be another reason. Or it could just be something that they don't support. I can't really think of like a good example of something they wouldn't support. I don't know, going back to a clothing line. If you have clothes that may not be their type, maybe it's too dressy for them or not their, you know, for their body type and things like that. So they may feel like they can't support by buying things. But you know what? At the end of the day, they can still support by sharing it suggesting your company to someone else liking letting you know that they're that you, they can let you know that you're doing a good job you know all of those things so even if it's something that they may feel like oh 
this can't benefit my life. There is nothing wrong with a simple like. If you want to go further, comment, like, or share. I know there are plenty of things that I see that I don't necessarily need or whatever, but I will share it. I will like it. I will come in and let somebody know, oh, I like what you're doing. And you know, that, that type of motivation just helps people. We are all human and it takes literally like the smallest thing to make us happy or put a smile on our face and let you know that you're doing a good job. Because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, all of that, it's easy to give up when you feel like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this if nobody's supporting it? So a little comment, anything goes a long way. So y'all remember that. Another thing to keep on your brain that your business will flourish without them. This is something I be having to remind myself. It will flourish. You may feel like, oh, nobody's really seeing my stuff. Nobody's really seeing all the effort that I'm putting into it. But you know what you gotta do? You have to trust the process. Everything is not on our timing. You know, we be wanting it microwavable fast. Me included. I'm talking to myself. We be wanting it microwavable fast, but it doesn't happen like that. Um, so you may not get all the likes, the shares, the support that you want, but it will come at the time it's supposed to. Everything is on God's time. Okay, remember that. Talk to myself too. And then you know what I always say, that makes it much more sweeter. When things are happening when they're supposed to and you've waited and you were patient and you know, it popped off like you wanted it to. So don't worry, you may not have those people that you thought would be in your corner. You may not have those people that you were like, oh, I really thought sis was gonna be, you know, buying for me or sharing my stuff or whatever. You don't need them. And you know what? You know what? When their business do pop off, whatever it is, guess what? They're gonna be looking from the sidelines, hating from outside the club and they can't get in. That's what's gonna happen. So just remember that uh, you don't necessarily need those specific people's support because your business is gonna rock. And that leads me to my next point. It's okay if everyone doesn't support you. Actually, you don't really want everybody supporting you. You know why? Because you don't want people supporting you for the wrong reasons. What they can get out of it. What can they get for free? All of that. The right people will be there. I've noticed that like, Sometimes it's so easy to get caught up on, oh, um, once again, the likes, the shares, the comments, I'm not getting those things. And I have my few people that's like ride or die. And I'm just like, I want more than that. Although I'm super grateful for the people that show up and show out. Um, I be wanting more than that. But you know what? I always say the people that are genuinely happy for me or wanted to see me do good, those are the people that will show up. So if someone isn't, you know, supporting your business, sharing so on social media or liking stuff and all of that um that means because they truly don't care and you don't want those type of people to you know fake support your business baby keep that fake love over there keep the fake love over there you don't want that you don't need that bad energy none of that um so that's something that i constantly have to remind myself is that the right people will be there and I said all that to say, I do have a lot of people that support me and I absolutely love them all to death. They show up and show out, family and friends wise. Um, and so I am very grateful for them. They always say, oh, I watch your videos on YouTube. I saw what you did here, I saw what you did there. Like when I hear people, that's how you know people really be paying attention to you when they be watching your stuff and they actually specifically point something out that they like. Um, so I absolutely love that and so I do want to shout out every single person in my life that supports me and people that don't know me in real life either that are on the internet. I always love my internet friends. Like I've met some of the best people on the internet that I may or may not ever meet in real life. I would like to but I've met some of the best people and so yeah forever grateful for them. And the last thing that I want to leave y'all with is to support others just like with you gotta give respect to get it. You have to support other people. What I've learned is I can't just expect people to just be over here showing me all this love and I'm not showing other people love. That's one of the things I literally, in the blogging world, I literally try to do every day is like, comment, or one or the other, or both, try to spend time doing that. Um, especially with my faves that always support me, I always try to support them back. Um, and just 
in general with other people that I see. I'm a huge supporter because we all need support out here. We all do. Um, we're Nobody's doing anything alone. We all need each other out here because we all trying to make it. So one of the things I would suggest, if you want people to pour back into you, you have to pour into them. You can't just be out here creating your business, building your empire and leaving everybody else behind. Okay y'all, this was a very short video today, straight right to the point don't stress so much about people not supporting you you know what it is what it is like i said the right people will come into your life so that is that and take from it what you will as always i do appreciate y'all for watching don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know when i am posting the next video don't forget to subscribe come on we running these subscribers up but we can always grow more and more don't forget to like comment share save all of the above and i will see y'all in the next video bye